how you been? Brother, why you wanna do me like that? Me, come on and buy your drink, huh? Are you sure you can afford it? It was a Friday night, everybody was drinking, the ladies were upset cause the breath was stinking and it won't be. Alright, now, sorry we're a little bit tight quarters, so we're back here with Kelso, uh, out of Brooklyn, but soon to be in the Bronx, so please tell us a little bit about Kelso. Uh, look, my wife and I started Kelso in 2006, uh, Kelso is Kelly and Sonia, me and my wife, and uh, we love craft beer, and we actually met at a brewery in Seattle, right, I was working at a brewery in Seattle in the 90s, and uh, she's from New York City, wanted to come back out here, we came out here, and uh, after a number of years decided to start Kelso, we wanted to do things that are, we call it simply good, balance, nuance, but let the freshness of the beer really shine, and uh, and that's, that's what we've been doing for the last almost 11 years. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, now you have a number of beers here today. You have a smash beer. Uh, you have your famous nut brown lager. Yeah, it's our um, flagship original. Yep. And now, what would you say? Uh, what would you say is how how far out do your beers go? What what, what like how far are, you, are your beers distributed? Uh, we're mostly in tri-state area. Okay. Uh, we're distributed Connecticut, New York. Uh, New Jersey, a little bit down in Philadelphia, cool. uh, just for a bar. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, that's basically it. And cool. uh, with the growing New York City market right now, we're putting most of our effort in just kind of holding on here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great place to be. Um, now, I, I have another question for you. I, where do you guys see Kelso going in the next, say, 10 years? So you guys have grown. Uh, in the past 10 years, you guys have become a brand that a lot of people are familiar with. I love yeah. Kelso. Yeah, what, where, where do you guys see going? Well, we really want to uh, emphasize the, our home base, emphasize our local market, and uh, do some more experimental things, but also expand on our core product line of simply good beers. Uh, we're going to be releasing IPA in cans, and wit in cans, and our, our chocolate lager in cans. And, then we're going to start doing, once we move and we have our tap room open, we'll be doing more events in the tap room, there'll be a rooftop beer garden, and once that's up and running and successful, we can build another one of those kind of big beer gardens uh, and some new developments, and just try to try to really focus on serving our beer where it's made and in the city that it's made in. Right. You know, it's just going to really just hold on for dear life. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the plight of the brewers. <laughs> like, uh, are we gonna shut down tomorrow? Okay, we're hold still on, alive. Hold on. Well, it's been very daunting. We lost our lease, and we had to move. And it's, a, it's an incredibly challenging thing. But everybody in New York City knows that. You've all had that problem, right? So you lose your lease, you have to move. Then you find a better place, and you're happier. You can't believe you live in that old place. Yeah. Long. Yeah. You have a lot more room to run and a lot yeah. more things to do. Yeah. Thank you so much hey, for being with us. We'll be coming back around. Thank you very much. Here. Cheers. <laughs> Worth the cash, this bus for you. They should put me with the monkeys down in LA Zoo. And you can come see me for a small fee. Watch me get drunk with my family. You can take it to the bridge, I'll take it to the fridge. Make sure it's real quiet so I can hear the fears. When you see me in public, know my bottle is near. Yo.